what is up savages this is vishu from savage camp and today we are going to learn about fs tab so let's create a partition first so i'm going to do an f disk on slash dev sdp and print the partition table we don't have anything right now so create a new partition with primary default number is one default sector is 2048 and i'm going to add 500 megabytes and save this once this is saved you have to run part pro and what this does is tells the linux kernel that listen we have added a new partition so go and check it and once it is completed clear the screen and run block id now the reason you need to run block id is because you need uuid and this is like a unique identifier for this partition and why do we need this it is because if you use slash dev sdp1 to mount your partition you can absolutely do that but you would be recognizing your partition from slash dev sdp1 and in future if you move your partition to another hard disk it won't have slash dev sdp1 because that hard disk might have xvdf1 and then this would be xvdf2 and your fs tab would get all confused it would be like where did sdb1 go and it won't be able to boot the system because it is not able to read the fs tab properly but when you use unique uh, uuid what this does is wherever the files partition goes it still has the same uuid so i'm going to so do a vim on slash etc fs tab and at the end add the uuid that is the first thing we always add the uuid you can also add label if you created a label for the partition but we don't have a label we have a uuid and i'm going to mount this in slash mount slash fs tab this is just a location that i just made up we don't have this right now but uh, we will have to create it. The third option is what file system is it? So I'm going to do XFS and make it as defaults. So defaults, there are various options that you can use over here. There are options like read only, read write, then execute and no exec, which means do you want this partition to execute binaries? If it is a user partition, it won't execute binaries. So if you're using a user, then you will have to specify no exec. So it would be something like user no exec. And then whatever the next option is, or you can do it something as auto slash no auto, which means do you want it to automatically mount or do you don't want it to automatically mount? So it can be auto and then comma user comma rw what this means is this is a user partition which i need to mount it automatically with read and write permissions so these are different uh, there's also execute oh we already covered execute no execute there's sync and async which means do you want the file system or the partition to sync as soon as you write something on it or do you want it to wait and if you have a floppy disk or if you have an usb you can use sync because it will constantly keep syncing with that file system but it's not a good idea on hard drives because you want the hard drive to write some data and have some time before you sync it but these are the various options you can use over here and you can just do like rw and it would just be a read write partition but we are not going to use any of these we would just keep it simple with defaults and go at the end and the last two are dumps and file system check so dumps are it's dump so dumps are like the backup system that we used to have way back uh, during the storage uh, tape library days i think if i'm not wrong but we don't use it anymore that's the thing you need to remember is the first option should always be zero because we don't want a backup every time the system reboots. And the last option is file system check. Now, you can keep it as zero, which means it will tell the kernel not to check the file system. But 
you need to do file system checks regularly if you're using this as zero and if you don't have it as zero have the root partition be one because root is most important so root would always be one and then you can do and you can follow it up with two or three but i don't want it to check every time the system boots so i'm just going to keep it as zero so zero and zero and all of these can be separated by a white space that's the most important thing so i can leave multiple white spaces over here and just white one white space over here that doesn't matter it still is going to read it as different as a single white space so this is just for like formatting purposes to keep everything aligned i would follow the same uh, white space over here once you complete this save and quit and mount the file system before mounting the file system mkfs.xfs i'm going to force it to sdb1 which is format the file system to sdb1 mkfs dev sdb1 is busy let's see what is going on so this is xfs so this is already xfs if you want you can make it F xfs i can try to make it ext4 let's try that then we will also have to add oh it is already mounted let me do fs tab let me do sdb1 and then run mkfs.ext4 go back to your fs tab and change this and save and quit create a directory mnt fs tab and do a mount minus a this command will tell the linux kernel to go into fs tab and mount everything that it sees and we are getting an error that it cannot mount it and we have to troubleshoot why so this already exists and let me go to this default 00, zero mnt fs tab save and quit cat i will keep this over here so i can look at it whenever i want to check and do a cd on mnt fs tab vim file one i can actually write into this so this seems to be already mounted i can unmount everything and its target is busy because i am in that directory clear u mount minus a oh because all of these are busy i have to do u mount minus sdb1 it's not mounted so i can do a mount minus a that will mount it hopefully this time can't find so it is not able to find this block id and it's because it's a different block id oh it's because we formatted it to ext4 so it changed the block id so let's go back to fs tab and change the block id and this should make it work now save and quit and do a mount minus a and this worked this time clear the screen go back to your mnt fs tab and echo file 2 cat file 2 so we are able to do things in our sdb2 so that's it for this video this is how you edit etc fs tab if you have any questions just comment below and let me know what else you want me to make a video on don't be shy just ask me pm me send me a message uh, all my links are in my bio just hit me up